You know, I'm gonna to have to say In the Pink is not just a book or an idea, it's a lifestyle. It's a way of thinking. It is especially creative for the army of women who have been taught by popular media, maybe their parents by default of their circumstances that to succeed in this world, you have to be a strong, independent woman. Well, a lot of the independent women I know are also independent of a man or a mate in their life. I think they have gotten away from these basic mother wit or biblical principles of being a girl, batting your eyelashes, dropping your hankies, uh, learning the art of being second. Nothing wrong with being second. You have lieutenants, you have generals, you have uh, colonels, and every one of those um, job titles work cohesively together to form a fantastic group if everybody knows their job and their lane. In the Pink is for women who have uh, thought, well, I don't need anybody to take care of me. I can make my own money. I can change my own tires. Uh, I don't need a man for anything. It's for the women who don't realize the power of confession, that you never rise above what you say. So if you're saying out of your mouth every day, I don't need a man, it's no wonder why you don't have one. But we're going to help you. In this short little pamphlet, you're going to reinvent yourself. You're going to reintroduce yourself to the girl within. No man wants another man, unless he's homosexual, but that's a whole nother book. But most men are looking for a woman, a girl. There's a girl in all of us, and we're going to help you find it. In the Pink was created just for those women who have lost touch with the girl inside.